How good was Chicharito at Man United? We're back with another ex-Manchester United player, and this time it's the ultimate poacher, Javier Hernandez. But just how good was the Mexican during his time playing for Manchester United? We'll find out. Hernandez is a proficient goalscorer who has earned the name Goal Poacher due to the fact that many of his goals were scored from inside the box. His pace, ability to find space inside the box, and movement off the ball have all been praised. His playing style has been compared to that of German striker Miroslav Klose. He has been referred to as one of the few players who look capable of appearing behind a defender's back to thump in the ball from two yards. Hernandez's sharp positioning in front of goal has earned praise from a lot of people, most notably Bayer Leverkusen's sporting director Rudi Voller who noted that while he definitely doesn't win every tackle, he has an unbelievable understanding of where the ball will end up. Hernandez was characterized by former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson as two-footed, incredibly quick, having a good spring, and a natural goalscorer. Ferguson also compared Hernandez in terms of style to the former United striker Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the so-called babyface assassin who scored the game-winning goal against Bayern Munich in United's 1999 Champions League victory. Despite his height, Hernandez was excellent excellent in the air, according to his former teammate Jess Padilla. He is exceptionally quick and agile because of his small stature, and he also has outstanding technique on the ball. Hernandez discussed his ability in the penalty area in a May 2016 interview with Sports Illustrated. He talked about the instinct he has to anticipate where a teammate will cross next and outwit opponent defenders. Hernandez, according to former Mexico national team coach Juan Carlos Osorio, has a knack for the goal. At times, it appears as though every rebound or deflection crosses his path. He also doesn't dwell on lost opportunities, which is another quality. He always anticipates the next one. He is proficient in the air. He moves quickly and starts his diagonal sprints from the first defender and finishes them behind the second. He is also ready to help his team out defensively when necessary. Hernandez was first brought to Manchester United's attention in October 2009. A scout visited Mexico in December and returned with encouraging news after watching a few matches. The club had initially intended to wait to make a move to sign Hernandez because of his age, but his prospective World Cup participation prompted the club to move quickly. Before the club's solicitor travelled to Mexico to complete the paperwork, United's chief scout, Jim Lawler, was dispatched to Mexico for three weeks in February and March to watch Hernandez, and he came back with another favourable report on him. Hernandez and Manchester United reached an agreement on a contract on April 8, 2010, for 9.5 million euros. During his first year at United in 2010-2011, Chicharito was a revelation. Dimitar Berbatov started that season scoring goals at an incredible rate and would go on to share the Premier League's Golden Boot Award at the end of the year. However, Chicharito overtook him as the preferred option for the latter stretch of that season and it was the Mexico international who started the UEFA Champions League final versus Barcelona. In all competitions, he would end his first season at United with 20 goals. On August 8th, Hernandez made his professional debut and scored his first goal, giving United a 3-1 victory over Chelsea in the 2010 FA Community Shield. He entered the game at the beginning of the second half and received a pass from Antonio Valencia and his shot was deflected off his own face into the goal. It wasn't the prettiest of goals, but he did score on his debut. Hernandez made his Premier League debut on August 16th when he came on in place of Wayne Rooney during their 3-0 victory against Newcastle United at home. On September 29th, he scored his first goal in the Champions League, the lone goal in an away victory over Valencia after coming off the bench. On October 16th, he netted his first league goal for United in a 2-2 home tie with West Bromwich Albion. Eight days later, in a 2-1 away victory over Stoke City, he not only scored his first brace for the team, but also his first away league goals. Two days after this performance, he came off the bench to score the game-winning goal in a 3-2 victory over Wolves, his first ever League Cup goal. This victory advanced the team to the quarter-finals, where they were eventually knocked out by West Ham United. On March 15th, Hernandez scored twice as United defeated Marseille 2-1 at home to go to the quarter-finals of the Champions League. He scored the winning goal against West Ham United on April 2nd as they overcame a two-goal deficit to win 4-2 on the road. Hernandez and teammate Nani were both named as PFA Young Player of the Year contenders on April 8th. Four days later, he scored the first goal in United's 2-1 Champions League quarterfinal victory over Chelsea. The match ended 3-1 on aggregates and United advanced to the semi-finals. On April 23rd, he continued his goal-scoring streak by scoring the game-winning goal in a 1-0 victory over Everton at home with a header. As a result of fan voting, Hernandez won the Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year title on May 18th. This concluded his first season with Manchester United.
injured, Hernandez played for the entire 90 minutes of the Champions League final loss to Barcelona 3-1 on May 28th with 13 goals. Hernandez won the title of World Goal Getter 2011 from the International Federation of Football History and Statistics on July 5th, beating out stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Giuseppe Rossi, and Lionel Messi, a fine achievement for his first season in a new league. The beginning of the 2011-2012 season wasn't very good for Hernandez as he suffered a series of injuries and he was replaced by a young Danny Welbeck. He was hit in the head with a ball during a training session on July 26, 2011 and was taken to the hospital as a result. The next day, he was released from the hospital but he could not play in the game. Rafael Ortega, a physician at CD Guadalajara, reportedly informed Manchester United of Hernandez's pre-existing neurological condition on July 28, 2011, according to a report. Hernandez had experienced severe migraines and headaches while still a teenager, according to Ortega. He did not take part in the 2011 FA Community Shield or any of United's pre-season games. Additionally, he did not play in United's season opening match against West Bromwich Albion. On August 22nd, in a 3-0 victory over Tottenham Hotspur, Hernandez made his first appearance of the 2011-2012 campaign, coming off the bench for Danny Welbeck in the 79th minute. On September 10th, against Bolton Wanderers, he was back in the starting lineup and scored twice in a 5-0 victory. On October 15th, 2011, at Anfield, in a 1-1 draw with Liverpool, Hernandez scored a crucial equaliser off the bench. Hernandez took a chance on Danny Welbeck's flick-on from a corner in order to sneak in and head the equaliser in the 81st minute. On October 24th, Hernandez agreed to a new five-year contract that would keep him with Manchester United through 2016. The next day, it was revealed that Hernandez had made the FIFA Ballon d'Or long list for that particular year. On October 29th, Hernandez scored the game-winning goal at Goodison Park in a 1-0 victory over Everton, giving him four league goals for the year. In United's subsequent away game at Swansea City, a 1-0 victory, he scored again what was his fifth league goal of the year and the game winner. In the following match against Newcastle United at home, Hernandez scored once more when Wayne Rooney's shot was deflected by a defender and rebounded off Hernandez and into the goal. After appearing to trip over on his ankle without a tackle from an opponent, he was subsequently carried off the field early in United's next league encounter away at Aston Villa. After the game, Sir Alex Ferguson announced that the player had damaged ankle ligaments and could be sidelined for up to four weeks. Hernandez then came back and scored his first goal since November and sixth goal of the season on January 31st, 2012 in a 2-0 league victory over Stoke City at Old Trafford. On February 5th at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, Hernandez maintained his goal-scoring streak, netting the third goal of a three-goal comeback draw by heading in a cross from Ryan Giggs. Sir Alex Ferguson retired in the summer of 2013 and David Moyes took his place. Moyes lacked Sir Alex's expertise in managing a talented team. He was under such intense pressure to perform during his terrible term that he hardly ever experimented with his choices. Hernandez did not start many games as a result. By the end of the season, it was clear how unhappy he was by his non-celebration in front of the Stratford end after scoring against Aston Villa. It couldn't have been more jarringly different than the joy with which he celebrated his first goals at United. Sir Alex signed Robin Van Persie and chose David Moyes as his replacement when he retired, which hurt Hernandez's United career. Additionally, he struggled at that time because he offered fewer options than his colleagues. He could not contribute as much to the build-up play as Rooney or Van Persie could. Also, United struggled to provide opportunities for him under Moyes, despite his excellent finishing. Chicharito's two world-class qualities are his exceptional finishing ability in the box, whether it's putting away a chance with either foot, his head, or even his face, and his movements and capacity to create separation from his marker. On the former, he impressively hit 52.3% of his league shots. In comparison, Robin Van Persie scored 46.1%, Rooney scored 40.7%, while Welbeck scored only 23.1%. In terms of movement, he excels at anticipating the area that the ball will be played into, before bursting into that area. Often at the near post from a right-sided cross, he likes to deceitfully take a step to the left to loosen the defender's hold on him, before slipping past to the right to get to the ball first. Because of Chicharito's speed, rival teams were always hesitant to play a high line against United when this striker was on the field. As a result, the opposition's shape is not as compact, which opens up more room underneath the lines for the attacker stationed in the hole. What do you think about Chicharito's time at Man United? Let us know down in the comment section. Also, make sure to watch this video in the link, and if you like our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. On the screen now should be another good video worth watching, so click on that video and we will see you in the next one.